What is the best carrier oil for acne? And better question, should you even be using oil on your face with acne? Today I'm going to answer that for you and caution you against a few things. <laughs> and then I'm going to share my favorite tool for getting you really clear on the root cause of your breakout. So stay tuned until the end for that. Hi there, my name is Jill Therese and after 15 years of dealing with acne, I finally cleared my skin naturally. I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Seven years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. There are a few very important must-knows when it comes to oil and your acne, and I need you to know them today, okay? So listen, if you're dealing with acne and you have broken out skin, like cystic acne of any type, shape, or form, I want you to do me a solid and I want you to step away from the oils very slowly. Here's the deal. If you're dealing with any type of fungal acne or a yeast and an acne issue, which can be common, I see it like about 25% of the time, and you put oil on your face, it is going to make everything 10 times worse because that yeast and that fungus is feeding off the oil. It's literally like the worst thing you could possibly do. And if you put oil on your face, there's one oil, and I'm gonna talk about it later, that you can put on your face with yeast and um, other types of issues, like yeast and fungus issues, but all the other ones are just gonna make you sad, so please don't do it. <laughs> so now that we've gotten that whole thing out of the way, here's what you have to know about oils. Oils don't necessarily hydrate your skin, they moisturize it. I like to call this softenifies it. It's not a word, it's totally not a word. But basically oils sit on top of your other products. Oils go on last. And I always think about it like I'm putting saran wrap on my face. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. It, I'm thinking about it that way, but basically nothing goes in or out. Oils serve, should serve as like the last stage of your process, okay? Don't think you're putting on an oil and like you're high, like you're moisturizing your skin. That's not what it does. Recently for me, Again, I don't have acne now, but thankfully, and the ones that work well, oils that sit on top of my skin are squalane, squ I say this wrong, squalane oil and rosehip oil. I love the smell of rosehip, sure do. And I put it on top of all of my other things. So those are the ones that I use now that I'm not dealing with acne, but what are the best carrier oils? So they may be like mixed with other things, but also on this note, please for the love of all things, Please don't use any type of essential oil on your face with acne as well. It's just gonna be a sad day. <laughs> essential oils can cause a lot of irritation for you and I really don't want that, okay? So what is the best type of carrier oil for acne? I'm gonna share a bunch, but first I need you to know, to really examine this, you have to know that there are two kind of main components that we look for when you're using oils on your face when it comes to clogging your pores or not. And that is linoleic acid and oleic acid. Here's what you should know about this. So some research has shown that acne sufferers have lower levels of linoleic acid on their skin. So it's the most commonly recommended type of oil for acne prone skin. So I wanted to list a group of oils that are higher in linoleic acid that may be beneficial and not as pore clogging as some other ones, okay? So the first one I wanna chat about is grapeseed oil. So grapeseed oil is really simple to define. It's oil pressed from the seeds of grapes. It has amazing fatty acids for you. So it, because it contains a lot of this linoleic acid to help strengthen your skin as well as antioxidants like vitamin D, C, and E, all of these oils can work to support skin healing post breakouts, okay? The second oil that's high in linoleic acid is evening primrose oil. So evening primrose oil is oil from the evening primrose seed, and it has a ton, which comes from a flower, a plant, and it has a ton of antioxidants that can help fight free radicals. Also too, people have used it over the years to fix kind of PMS stuff. I haven't seen many studies that really confirm that, but anecdotally, it seems to work for people. Also, it has a ton of fatty acids in it as well. It has a ton of GLA fatty acids, gamma linoleic acids, 
which can help to support your skin as well. This evening primrose oil has really been used for a long time. Again, I have another video about that. I'll link to it below. But the research is up in half and half, but I have not seen any harm with the oil, generally speaking. Sesame seed oil is another oil high in linoleic acid and very easily it's oil derived from the derived from the sesame seed. It has a ton of vitamin E. It also contains palmitic acid, stearic acid, linoleic acid, like I mentioned. So again, major anti-inflammatory fatty acids here, which are really good for you. So those are oils that are high in linoleic acid, which like I mentioned, can commonly be recommended for you if you're dealing with acne. The following oils are higher in oleic acid, which can generally be a little bit more pore clogging. Like I mentioned earlier, using oils for your acne is a tricky biz. It's a tricky, tricky biz. I would not recommend it. These are the oils that I would probably use far down the road again. Like for me, I can use these oils because I don't have acne. So I just wanted you to have them. Tamanu oil is another type of oil that's higher in oleic acid. This oil comes from the seed of the fruit of the flower on a tree that actually only blooms twice a year. And the best part about this again, like all the other oils, is that it's really rich in fatty acid, which again, have a unique ability to promote wound healing, accelerate the growth of new skin, and help with some scarring. It's antibacterial, has a lot of good antioxidants, all the things. The next oil that I think you might have heard a bit about if you've been on your acne journey for a while is jojoba oil. Now, I tried to use jojoba oil towards the very, 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 very tail end of my acne journey because a lot of people recommended it to me and I just did not see that much positive from it. But that's me. A lot of people on the interwebs and even a few of my clients have seen great results with it. So definitely something to kind of keep in mind. Yeah, something to keep in mind. Jojoba oil is the botanical extract of the seed of the jojoba tree. It's unique because it's really close to the sebum that our body naturally produces. And the basic idea is that when you apply this oil, your skin thinks that it has enough oil, so it calms its production of sebum. That is what I have read a lot. I have not found a study that says that. So take that with a grain of salt. Okay, a lot of this stuff is kind of anecdotal, but I just want you to have the information that I have seen the most of. Two other oils to check out are squalane oil and tea tree oil. Squalene oil is a saturated byproduct of squalene oil, a polyunsaturated hydrocarbon. The human body produces squalene naturally, which is why its derivative squalane is such an excellent moisturizer for the hair, skin, and nails. Our bodies really know what to do with it. Like other beautifying components, as we get older, our body's natural production of squalene begins to decline, which is why adding squalane oil can be really helpful. It's a great antioxidant. It can help to hydrate. Again, not moisturize, but hydrate. I really like the ordinary version of this brand. I use it again at the end of the night often just to seal in stuff. And I have found no issues with it. I really like it. Tea tree oil is another oil that is highly antibacterial and has been shown to support acne healing. Fun fact, I absolutely hated tea tree oil. Like the smell of it can still make me gag, it's rough. But it can help. So especially as like a spot treatment and an antifungal as well. So if you're exploring some options when it comes to kind of fungus or an antibacterial and you want, you're looking for a spot treatment, tea tree oil is definitely something to take a look at. So how does all of that help? Does that kind of give you some information on when you should never use oils, which is if you're currently dealing with intense cystic acne, please don't put oil on your face except for tea tree oil. I really recommend that you truly limit your, any type of oil use until your skin is really clear. But I wanted you to have that information about the carrier oils. Like if you're gonna grab one, cause I know people like to sometimes do what they, they like to live on the edge, uh, just, just please don't grab an essential oil with like olive oil or coconut oil or something. I might cry for you. And I will get an email from you with you crying. And I don't want that. So that being said, I want you to take action right now. If you're still confused about why you're breaking out in the first place, I want you to take my acne personality quiz. It's a 30 second, 10 question quiz that you can download via the link below. I share three recipes and three action steps you can take based on your unique results to start to heal your acne naturally. Okay. 
Also, I have a root triggers webinar as well that you can check out that helps you learn a little bit more about the process to apply into my program, The Clear Code. So you can find the link below for that too. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people learning to heal, how heal their acne naturally just like you, please find the link below that for that as well. We have a private Facebook group where we'd love to welcome you and provide kind of empathy and the support that you need about your skin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below with yes, because I would love to support you further, and I would love to really be the spark for you or any of your friends, family, mothers, brothers, sisters, all the people to start to heal their acne naturally. So if you know anyone who would benefit from this video, please send this over to them, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one, and I will see you next time. Bye!